Right, so we're back for another video. It's been a while since I've done one of these and that's simply because it's been quite busy and these videos do take quite a lot of work, especially in the editing department, to get done. So I'm sorry that it's been quite a while. But today we're looking at, is it part six, I believe? And we're looking at the funnest thing in the universe, speed dial buttons, because as you can see, we've got a 7970 here and all these buttons do nothing. What a waste. Now, obviously you have to have a phone that has speed dial buttons, like the 7970. Um, this 7911 here has no chance, nor does the 7906, which I've got behind the camera here, which I'm going to be using as my test extension. It's been a while since I've powered up this whole system, so I'm actually just going to do a quick test phone call here. Let's see. And yes, we are doing phone calls. Once I figure out how to empty the call. And let's test the other phone as well. Yes, they're both working, they're both on really quiet there, but they are working. So that's brilliant. We have a working phone system. Now, obviously the most important part of this is the... Now there is actually a few ways you can do this. So the first way is actually on the phone. So if you press the services button here, you get the CME service URL page. And if you go to my phone apps, you actually have the option to create speed dials on the phone. What do you know? So we can actually save a bit of time here. We can do it on the phone. Now, there's several different types of speed dial buttons. There's regular speed dial buttons, but they're a bit useless in my opinion because they're just useless. You might as well just make everything a BLF speed dial button and BLF standing for busy lamp field. This is basically like a speed dial button with intelligence. It can tell you the status of another phone on the network. It can say, yep, they're on the phone. You can't call them. It can do stuff like that. So why you would, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You'd use a speed dial for like an external number. I don't think there's any negative connotations to just doing everything as a BLF. So let's go into there and let's create one. Add. So let's give it a label. Now the only problem with this is obviously you have to type it all out manually. So yeah. Um, and it is like dialing on an old text messaging service. And I have no idea how to do uh, space. Is it an underscore or a space? I don't know what I've done. All I want to do is put a dash now. Uh, oh, there's the dash. I believe I've done an underscore. But you know what? I, I don't really care. I just want to demonstrate that you can do it this way. I usually like to do the label as the name and the extension number. Then we'll put the extension number in there. And hit submit. There you go. We've created... <laughs> That is such a bad label. If you actually want to sit there and do that yourself, you can. But I can't be bothered. So then you go to my phone apps again and reset phone. And that will reset the phone. It won't do a full reboot, but it will bring back your speed dials. There you go. And it's actually working there, you can see. You get a little picture of a phone, so you know it's working. If I actually lift up this phone, we get a red light. We have a red light. How cool is that? And I think, uh, get that on. If I ring that extension from another phone, you can see it also comes up as working. So, yeah. That's a speed dial, and obviously we can click it to do a phone call between the two phones. So that's making a speed dial on the phone. That took, what, three minutes? But we're going to go onto the computer 
and I'm going to show you how to make them via the config mode because you get a little bit more control there and obviously you can avoid weird ass labels like that which are absolutely horrible. So here we are, we're back here and I'm doing a new style here. The problem with making these videos, the most biggest problem is the editing, adding all the text. So now I've actually got a notepad document with all the commands open. So you can actually kind of see the syntax we're going to use here. So we're going to enter conf t and this is ephone free. Um, you should know that obviously from the previous tutorials, I'm not going to go over that after about the fourth time of explaining how to use conf t in that it gets kind of repetitive so let's add a blf here so there you go it's that easy so let's explain this command so it's blf speed dial then it's the position or the id so the first one we created was id 1 so now this is id 2 so this lets you put them in the correct position so you can obviously have one comes before two and obviously if you create a new one over number one it will destroy whatever speed dial was there so that's why you have to give them all a unique thing then it's just the phone number literal word label and then a quoted string for the label the label is optional if you don't put a label we'll just show the extension number um, yeah so let's also add the page as a uh, uh, I can't speak Let's add the page as a BLF and let's also add the park. We're going to do right. And now let's go back to the phone. So here we are, we're back at the phone. As you can see, our extensions haven't shown up yet. And that's very simple. Just go to my phone apps and reset phone. And give it some time. And if I've done this correctly, we should get four BLF speed dials now. There you go. So obviously our third, third, second speed dial there has a little phone symbol next to it. And if I pick up the phone here, you get a red light. So you obviously know that's working. I believe if you put on do not disturb as well, yeah, the light comes up and you actually get an X on the extension. So that's quite nice. And the park and the page obviously do not have anything on there. So let's actually test out them. So I'm going to pick up this handset here and I'm going to do page. Yep, we're paging to all the phones. Yep, both phones are going off. So, yeah. We just did a page with a button. So now let's actually park a call. So we're going to create a phone call here to this phone. Now, this park button does not work how you would expect. And I don't know if there's a way to make it work how you'd expect, but if you just press park, it does nothing. All it does is annoy the person on the other side. If I put monitor on here so you can actually hear me out ah. hear me out the other phone and press that button you just hear a bunch of beeps so that's no good is it so how do we make that call park then same as always call parked at 3998 but now we actually have a button to pick that call back up There you go. I think there is actually a way to make that button like work correctly here. Um, I'm just gonna do sh run. I think I've done something wrong here because on my other CME it actually has busy lamp field on that. Okay, I think I can see what I've done. So I'm going to switch back to the computer here and we can show you what I think is wrong. So as you can see here, I've just done a show run and let's have a look at these other directory numbers in here. 
as you can see, they all have this allow watch. Now, allow watch allows other phone extensions to watch. Very simple explanation there. Our paging extension doesn't have that. So, let's just add it. Uh, allow watch. So, we can just basically, we can get rid of them. If we copy that in to our config here and write that config we should yep I've got a little phone symbol next to the park thing now so let's actually go back to the phones so as you can see we're still on the phone call here as you can see we've got a little symbol next to the park now so if we actually park that call we do get a busy lamp field there so we can then obviously pick it back up now let's say I transfer this phone call over to 3100 here apparently it's done a blind transfer as you can see we've now got two busy lamp fields there now what say let's say we park this phone call You can see this phone is no longer on the call and now we've got this park lights lit up and we can answer it. So we've basically just done a transfer with a park with the busy lamp fields. We can see when the call is parked, we can see who's on the phone. We can't see who's on the phone to who, but we can see when someone's off hook. Although apparently this phone doesn't want to go off hook. There we go. You can see when someone's off hook. This is really convenient if you've got an actual phone system set up here with external lines. Let's say someone's on an external phone call. You don't want to try and ring them and annoy them mid-call. So this lets you see, yep, they're busy. I'll ring them at a later stage. It's great for the parking because you can obviously see that a call is parked waiting for you. So it's a very handy setup and very easy to do. You can do it literally from the phone and you can obviously do it from the phone system as well. Just remember you have to have allow watch on the directory numbers that you want a busy lamp field to work for. You can create speed dials without that but you won't get the fancy red lights when they're on phone calls and stuff so you do miss out there. So hopefully this video has been helpful. I'm sure to be making more. I'm going to probably, if I can find it, I'm going to work on the um, expansion module video next because that's quite an easy one to do. So I'll see you in the next video.